For far too long, we've been enthralled by Cat Williams's daring crusade against a prominent media figure, revealing a side to her that's darker and more sinister than we could have ever imagined. If you thought a famous music mogul was the antagonist of this narrative, think again. Williams asserts that this media figure might indeed be the real epitome of evil. His alarming disclosures offer a grim depiction, compelling us to face the disturbing truths hidden beneath her meticulously crafted public facade. Just when it seemed the saga couldn't intensify, a new contender steps into the spotlight. It's none other than the enigmatic Keanu Reeves. Known for his calm presence and reluctance towards controversy, Reeves's choice to openly support Williams has created a monumental impact. This surprising alliance has ignited conversations everywhere, suggesting that there's much more to this story than what's apparent. But what actions by Keanu Reeves have fans of us? And has this media figure truly exploited individuals more severely than the music mogul, as Cat Williams alleges? Sit tight, because the revelations you're about to discover are nothing short of astounding. People are questioning why he would face ostracism when, for over three decades, his endeavors have been solely to amass information, knowledge, and secrets. The noise around the alleged malevolent aspects of this media figure's character grows louder with each revelation. It all began when Monique publicly shared her prolonged dissatisfaction. Waiting for an acknowledgement and apology, she believes is due for what she views as a devastating blow to her career. Watching this unfold, what would you say to her? You know exactly what needs to be done. Stop concealing yourself behind what you dismiss as negative comments. People are starting to see the real you. Monique's audacious statement resonated deeply, challenging the media mogul to confront the situation rather than evade through dismissive comments. For those unfamiliar, the conflict between Monique and this media mogul originated in 2009 over a disagreement regarding the movie Precious. The film was significant, particularly for Monique, who delivered an Oscar-nominated performance. The media mogul, a co-producer, saw an opportunity to leverage Monique's acclaim by promoting her on a press tour. However, the conditions became contentious when they expected Monique to partake in the tour without appropriate compensation for her time and effort. Already spent from her emotional investment in the role, Monique chose to prioritize her family time instead. Initially, the media mogul appeared to agree, and Monique believed there was mutual understanding. Yet, suddenly, tabloids began depicting Monique as uncooperative, and soon, she found herself devoid of job offers, leading her to suspect foul play. In a candid interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Monique unveiled that the director of Precious, Lee Daniels, admitted to her being intentionally blacklisted in the industry. Now, Monique demands public apologies, not just over the press tour, but also because the media mogul exploited Monique's traumatic past on national television. What transpired with the press tour pales in comparison to the harrowing disclosure of how her personal tragedies were manipulated for public consumption. Monique courageously spoke about being assaulted by her older brother Gerald from a young age, but the subsequent actions taken by the media mogul were even more shocking. As Monique stood firm against undue pressures from the press tour demands, the mogul took an extreme step by inviting Gerald onto her show to discuss his actions, a move that deeply betrayed Monique's trust. This media mogul contacted us saying, your brother wishes to appear on the show. The same brother you've described as monstrous who abused you starting at age seven. If you're uncomfortable with this, I'm willing to cancel the show. However, I wanted to check with you first. This revelation exposes a darker aspect of the media mogul's influence, where moral boundaries are crossed and personal traumas are exploited for entertainment value. It serves as a chilling reminder of the entertainment industry's power dynamics, where victims are often re-victimized for the sake of ratings and sensationalism. To clarify, Monique's past traumas were no secret as she had previously shared her experiences in a 2008 interview with Essence magazine. Yet what remained undisclosed was the strained relationship with her parents, which she had confided in the media mogul during her preparation for her role in Precious. 
Imagine Monique's shock when she found out that the mogul had also invited her parents to discuss these sensitive topics on the show, alongside her abuser, without her prior knowledge. This thoughtless action left Monique feeling utterly betrayed and blindsided, as she recalled seeing commercials featuring her family members, a stark reminder of the betrayal she felt. Monique explained that initially, when the mogul reached out, she only mentioned Gerald, attempting to persuade Monique to join him on the show. Yet the mogul conveniently omitted the part about inviting the rest of Monique's family. Had she known, Monique asserts, she would have immediately halted it. The exploitation of trauma by this media mogul doesn't end with Monique. She has a history of extracting personal information from celebrities under the guise of friendship, only to use it for boosting ratings. Many have criticized this manipulative behavior, including 50 Cent, who notably rebuked her for pandering to a predominantly white audience despite her roots in the black community. 50 Cent's critique followed after she publicly condemned him for his explicit lyrics, accusing him of perpetuating harmful behavior through his music. In retaliation, 50 Cent compared her to an Oreo, black on the outside but white on the inside, arguing that the mogul, who initially championed perspectives of black women, had increasingly tailored her focus to appease middle-aged white American women. Ludacris, another rapper, also experienced what he perceived as her shady behavior. In 2005, she invited Ludacris and the cast of the crime drama Crash to her show. However, Instead of discussing the movie, she seized the opportunity to publicly criticize Ludacris for his use of the N-word in his songs. Ludacris recalled feeling blindsided by her comments, especially since he was there to promote the film alongside his castmates. He expressed disappointment that she chose to focus on his music rather than the movie they were there to promote. Despite Ludacris providing a thoughtful response to her accusations, he later discovered that she had edited out all of his rebuttals from the final episode. This experience left Ludacris feeling humiliated and misrepresented, underscoring a pattern of the media mogul using her platform to scrutinize and criticize black men for the sake of ratings, a practice that has been called into question by many. When you consider her connections within the industry, questions arise. She's closely associated with figures like the music mogul Harvey Weinstein and Tyler Perry, all of whom have been linked to questionable behavior. The saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. And it seems this adage holds true for the media mogul and her associates. But Cat Williams isn't just shedding light on the media mogul's shady dealings with other celebrities. According to Williams himself, she has been using her resources to remove anyone who stands in her way. If you've been tuned into recent headlines, you've probably caught wind of the storm brewing around her stance on the Maui wildfires. While flames ravaged countless homes, including those of regular folks, it's notably curious that her sprawling estates, along with those of other celebrities, remained virtually untouched. Over the years, she has acquired extensive land holdings on Maui, including a significant area on the dormant volcano Haleakala, where she resides part-time. Additionally, she owns a private ranch and agricultural land spanning various regions, and recently purchased another parcel of land for a hefty sum. Despite the proximity of these properties to recent fires, none of her holdings have ever been affected. Here's where it gets intriguing. Instead of rolling up her sleeves to help her neighbors rebuild, she decides to pass the hat around launching a public fundraising campaign. This move has left many scratching their heads, wondering why the billionaire mogul didn't dip into her own deep pockets to lend a hand. And let's not forget the eerie deja vu from 2017 when a massive blaze threatened her Montecito mansion. While nearby homes went up in flames, hers remained miraculously unscathed. Fast forward to today, and her land portfolio in Montecito has grown to over 70 acres. Coincidence? Some skeptical fans think not. They're puzzled over her sudden land-grabbing spree post, the 2017 fire, suggesting a well-timed stroke of luck, or perhaps something more calculated. Their close ties have attracted significant scrutiny, particularly from right-wing media outlets, which have brought to light old photos of her with Weinstein, images she presumably hoped would remain unseen. 
Critics argue that her long-standing relationship with Weinstein made it implausible that she was unaware of his reprehensible actions. An aspiring actress alleged that Weinstein exploited his association with her to gain her trust before assaulting her in a hotel room, with many women believing he was trustworthy simply because she was frequently by his side, suggesting a level of endorsement that led them into vulnerable situations. In response to the mounting allegations against Weinstein, she attempted to shift the focus to broader issues of systemic abuse across various industries, claiming that concentrating only on Weinstein overlooked the larger problem. This stance, however, was met with skepticism. The controversy intensified when Weinstein asserted that she had contacted him to offer support post-allegations, a claim her team vehemently denied, stating her interest was solely in a journalistic capacity for an interview on 60 Minutes. Despite these denials, Weinstein continued to invoke her supposed support, which she eventually condemned, describing his actions as hideous and criticizing those who enabled his behavior. She addressed the gravity of Weinstein's misconduct on social media, emphasizing the necessity of tackling systemic enabling to prevent such abuses in the future. Despite her statements, her initial reactions, and her close relationship with Weinstein, have left many questioning her role during the scandal. Who could forget her handling of Michael Jackson's legacy? Rewind to 1993. Michael Jackson, notoriously private, granted her a rare interview at his Neverland ranch. This exclusive interview significantly boosted her fame in the U.S. and catapulted her to global stardom. For years, she claimed to be a friend of Jackson's. However, following his death, she pivoted dramatically by participating in the controversy surrounding the Leaving Neverland documentary, which cast Jackson in an unflattering light. She intensified the situation by hosting a segment interviewing Jackson's former accusers, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, despite their previous retractions under oath, which led many to speculate about her motives in reviving the allegations against Jackson. She defended her actions by stating she was highlighting widespread abuse in the entertainment industry, but her approach drew considerable criticism. Moreover, remember her involvement with a Brazilian faith healer known as John of God. She not only discussed him extensively, but also traveled to Brazil to meet him, later featuring him on her show. However, this took a dark turn when he was implicated in horrendous crimes, including human trafficking and child abuse. Caught in this scandal, she chose to erase all traces of him from her digital presence, effectively making it seem as though he had never existed in her world, without offering any public explanation or distancing herself from the controversy. You might wonder why this scandal wasn't more widely covered in U.S. media. According to sources, her formidable connections have played a role in keeping these matters under wraps. Consider the time she was celebrated for opening a school for girls in South Africa, which later became embroiled in a scandal involving serious allegations of misconduct by a school matron. And then there's the artist Seal, who hinted that she had prior knowledge of Weinstein's misconduct, but chose to ignore it. Remarkably, just days after Seal's comments, he faced battery charges, which were later dropped. Rumors suggest that the accuser only proceeded after Seal criticized her, leading some to believe she was orchestrating retribution. More recently, Taraji P. Henson openly criticized the undervaluing of her contributions in the industry, particularly in relation to her involvement in the movie The Color Purple, which led to heated discussions online about her treatment of black women in the industry. Amidst this, Cat Williams has been vocal about her attempts to suppress voices and control narratives, especially in how she deals with financial compensations, suggesting he has more revelations to make. Rumors are swirling that she is plotting to silence him before more is revealed. Amid all these controversies, Keanu Reeves's support for Williams stands out. Known for his kindness and humility, Reeves's backing appears to stem from a shared experience of industry ostracism, notably his own past of being sidelined. His support is not just a gesture but a statement, aligning himself with someone willing to challenge the status quo and shine a light on injustices within the industry. What do you make of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 
And while we await further developments in this unfolding drama, don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore our other content for more insights into these shady dealings. Trust us, we're just getting started on revealing the extent of her controversial actions in this industry.